Okay, exciting times. The puppies are three weeks old and Tilly is super done with nursing. I mean, she's not actually done. She still nurses them, but she doesn't like it. It's a little bit of a battle to get her to come in here and feed them at all. She stays for like three minutes at a time. It's very frustrating. So anyway, this is near the age that people start weaning. So we're gonna start that process today and introduce some puppy mush, which We'll show you how it's made. Oh, it's our first time making it, but I've watched quite a few videos. I think I get the gist. And then see how the pups do, trying sort of real food for the first time. <laughs> push, push, push. I push think hard. you have to twist uh, it. Uh, <laughs> All right. Okay. So yeah, you wanna just put it around in a circle. Wow, that went a lot further than I thought. Maybe that one batch is enough. Now we can go through and make sure that there's no big pieces of kibble in there. Okay, now that is gonna not be enough liquid. No, that is not my hairy arm. <laughs> I have an assistant slash head chef. <laughs> for that. <laughs> I don't know the theme song from the movie Piranha, so here we go. Wait, do we want to move the heating pad over? Oops. Oh. Okay. Well, we want to move this so that they can get on all sides of it. So let's pull this out. Let's see what happens. Little guys. I'm sure Tilly will lift that up. Oh, we should leave, we should, hang on, move Tilly so she can't come in here till they've had a chance to get out of her a little bit. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought you wanted to see. <laughs> oh, Niles tasted it, I think. Mmm. <laughs> oh, that's, oh, look, Cleo just found the spill. Something funny that I heard someone say in a YouTube video is that the puppies don't know whether, like, where the stuff is coming from, whether it's coming out of their paws because it gets on their paws right away. Where is this coming from? It's all new. Yeah, Phoenix, give it a try. That, I like hearing that sound of them gobbling it up. It's been kind of stressful to try and get Tilly to feed them enough because she's just I'm sure it's because she's sore from nursing so I, I totally feel for her but it's also very frustrating for her to just keep taking off so it's going to be a huge relief for everyone for them to have another source of food mm. yeah. hang on Tilly dog hang on. oh <laughs> <laughs> she's she knows how to open these doors. She just, she just uh, shook the handle like a rafter. Hey, that really is so fun to hear them. Their little noises. They Your seem to be noises. enjoying it. Yeah. Yum. <laughs> so I think what we're gonna end up doing is doing this little ritual once a day for. Um, the first two or three days, and then may st slowly start to increase to twice a day and so on, so that we can help Tilly gradually start to produce less milk, so it's not uncomfortable for her. Mm, 
Wouldn't you know, Tia is our advanced party. Who's the most into it? There's a lot of messy feet in here. I got all covered in mush. All covered in mush. By the way, I heard a tip from, um, I think it's called like Red Fox Labs or My Red Fo Fox Labs, it's a breeder, to um, warm the food and that it'll keep the puppies eating longer if you warm the food. And he suggested doing it with like one of those rice packs or corn packs, which we have. But since they already still have a heat pad in their box, I decided to just put the heating pad under it. And it, they're, they've been eating now for like more than 10 minutes, so it seems to be working well. I don't know if maybe we should have let them eat somewhere outside of their living area. Maybe, maybe we did that wrong, I don't know. But pretty soon we'll invite Mama back in here to clean them up because they need it. <laughs> She does this a lot where she keeps her back feet out of the kennel, I mean out of the whelping box, so that she can clean things up without having them touch her or try and feed. You can see why these guys are pretty aggressive about trying to get to her. Oh yeah, they are all learning how to stand up feed since she won't sit down in here. Can't believe they're trying that hard after they just ate so much though. Mama's cleaning up. They're getting their milk chasers for the meal. I am proud of her careful feet. She's learning how to step very carefully. should have done to get her to nurse all along is just give her a very difficult to eat food. Don't have her stand here and eat it while they all conga line underneath her. Hey, look at that. ball <laughs> just got immediately peed on that is the fate of things in this box for sure we're still just trying to give them new experiences in whatever way we can One thing I forgot about a couple days ago, this is now our third time feeding them the puppy mush, was the suggestion from 4E Kennels is to do this kind of call, puppy, 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 when you give them the food. Because if they think every time they hear that, that they're getting food, then you can start using that as they get older to just get their attention very quickly and to get them to come is to say puppy, 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 which I found a lot of puppies just come to that sound anyway, because they're like, what? What's happening? Something exciting. But it's a good way to train them to have recall on that phrase, puppy, 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 if you say it as they're getting their food, they start to come every time they hear that. So it's like teaching them an early command. So here are the new skills that my two-year-old apparently acquired that I learned this morning. 
One is counting to five. And one is waking up in the middle of the night, coming in with the puppies, letting four of them free, and then going back to bed and shutting his door. And they all stayed in their room, but we woke up to them just all over the place and poop everywhere. And I know he did it because his room was closed all the way and they couldn't get out this morning. And we don't leave it closed when we go to bed. I know I didn't. So now I'm not really sure what to do because we have to leave the door open for Tilly to have access to them. But, and we have to leave the boy's door open so that my older son can go to the bathroom if he needs to in the middle of the night. I don't, I don't know. I don't know what to do. <laughs> Well, after sitting and contemplating our predicament for a couple minutes, I think for right now what I might do is put these bells, <clears throat> which are extras from bell training our other dog, um, on the doorknob so that if it opens during the night, at least we'll hear that it happened. I don't know what else there is to do. <laughs> Further evidence he was in here. Turns out it's not just puppy poop everywhere. I was making breakfast and just found my other son holding one of the puppies out in the living room in front of the TV because he wanted to watch TV with him. I feel like now a precedent has been set that it's like there was a barrier of where the puppies live and now that they broke that barrier, it's like a free for all. And I need to both find a way to contain it and also find a way to regulate my emotions about it so I don't overreact because I feel like I'm being more reactive than is strictly necessary because I'm stressed. So, <clears throat> wish me luck. We'll see. No, see Tilly, Tilly, off. Tilly, hey. stay. Stay. Good job, Benjamin. Tilly, stay. Yeah. Good, Good stay. Ah, Good stay. Tilly, what are you poking my head with? So I happen to have already bought the Little Green Pet Deluxe. It's a little tiny upholstery and carpet cleaner for Prime Day like a week and a half ago because the birth of these puppies left so many stains in our house. So I already bought that and I'm gonna use it to clean the stains from the middle of the night escape situation. But obviously loud noises are kind of hard on puppies but this is the stage actually where we're trying to socialize them to loud noises to not be bothered by them um so this is kind of a good thing but i am gonna feed them at the same time so that hopefully it'll be a more of a relaxed situation i don't even know how loud this thing is i've never used it so here goes nothing puppy 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 puppy, puppy. So this is the first stain we're going to try and get rid of. Okay, hitting the power button. So this thing didn't exactly work like magic. It definitely took a ton of elbow grease, which I'm not usually very good at. But it was satisfying from this angle and seemed to help a little bit. But yeah, definitely took a lot of work. Well, it's very hard to tell how much of the stain is still there because it's wet. I might let it dry and try again. The puppies basically settled down to the sound of this machine like it was a white noise machine. So 
they apparently aren't going to be super afraid of vacuums, probably. They, uh, they all seem very chill with it, so I'm happy with that. Their socialization is going well. Since I had a full tank of the formula, I decided to just go around my house and clean up other spots and couch cushions and stuff. And, in general, worked pretty well. Oh, well, here it is now that it's dry. It's not perfect, but a lot better. Then came everyone's least and most favorite part. Is it so gross? Oh my gosh. <laughs> but at least you know it worked. And I'm not going to end on that. I'll end on the cute stuff. These guys snuggling down for the night. <laughs>